Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Yeah, everything is a little bit laggy. My computer has been blue screening lately. So let's see how terribly this goes. Um, it's Sunday at 8.30. So that means we get to do our new weekly challenge, which is in Camp Woodwind. Is that the one I like? Yes. Oh, Camp Woodwind's good. Maple Lodge sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It's all right, but it's massive. and It's terribly long to find anything. Anyway, other weekly tasks we have is going to find the ghost type 15 times. That's that's a fun one, I guess. Um, I'm going to do three of them at the very least tonight. Collect 15 bones and use cursed possessions 50 times. Wow, that is a lot. Daily task is discover the ghost type, which we'll definitely be doing. And reach zero sanity and survive with only the starter items. We might do that. We might not. That might be a Wednesday video. And get a Ouija board response. I don't really care for that. So let's hop into single player. And what do we have? Challenge mode. Slow and steady. This sounds familiar. This ghost may be slow, but it's angry. Keep your toes. So the ghost speed is lowered. Uh, but I'm guessing it hunts more frequently. That's what that sounds like to me. But if that's all, then that should be fairly easy, which means we're probably going to be getting tier 1 equipment. Ah, look who's getting good at guessing. Oh, and we're starting at zero sanity. That's how they're making the ghost hunt more frequently. So we just got, uh, <laughs> what was that, our daily test reached zero sanity? Yeah, we just got that immediately. We do still get the monitors, which is awesome. Um, I don't care if we're getting perfect game on here, so let's go ahead and smack that button. We do get all three evidences, so I am going to do something incredibly ingenious and walk in and walk out, and we have primed ghost orbs. So, if the ghost has ghost orbs, we would see it. At least if it's in this area, which it doesn't appear to be. So that's unfortunate. Nevertheless, we did just initiate the ghost, so now it can start touching stuff and throwing things around and its usual temper tantrum crap. Um... The ghost is slowed. How slow is slowed? That's a question. Well, let's go grab this. Flashlights work. Probably won't end up using one. We, we might. Uh, we're going to take a look at this. Oh, it's, it's very active. That was not EMF 5. That might be EMF 5. We're just going to get EMF. No, nope. oh, Jesus. It's all over the place. Wow. And I'm, it's doing a lot of stuff, but I'm not seeing anything happen inside. I'm trying to look at the monitor and inside, so I don't think it's near the tents. The big white ones. I think it's over in that area. Oh, that's going to be fun. Very active. So, we're going to drop this. We are actually going to grab our flashlight, turn that on. We're going to grab a smudge, and we're going to head on in. And we are going to be very cautious... Because I don't know what the ghost speed is. I think I heard it throwing stuff over there. It was very active. I was just going to... Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's... That is slow. So there's basically no way I'm going to be able to get this based off of the ghost speed alone. But... Jesus, that is so slow. Um... I don't need to carry a smudge with me, so that that's a positive. We know it's not a Hantu. I mean, that that's something, right? I'm not even sure if we can, uh... Can not light the campfire in the rain. I was honestly surprised the matches were working as well as they were. Hi, dude. Yeah, I don't know why that, like, never wants to open for me. Alright, so this is going to be difficult because we're not going to be able to get the ghost based on the speed. However, we should still be getting all three ghost evidences. So, let's grab that and that. Let's try to find, uh... Should actually be nice and easy because we can just outrun the ghost. Let's try to find where the ghost room is. 
came over here to do that, but it seemed like it was hunting from over there. It's cold here. That works for me. Not seeing any ghost orbs. You do need to be careful because as we have experienced on at least this channel before, um, the ghost can still trap you even if it's incredibly slow and if you don't have a smudge, you're still screwed. So, you know, good times. Let's grab this, this, and I guess a little dot. So, right. Dips going down there. Let's go grab some salt. And we'll place that down. That's going to be how we're going to have to gather our ultraviolet. Or check for it, rather. For some reason, we're able to get in and out of here very frequently. Ghost is still quite active, though. Uh, the ghost did come to me after one hunt and the ghost of it, so we should be checking for Banshee. Uh, that being said, I might be able to just pop that in there real quick. That is very nearly twin interaction, so I'm going to keep that in mind. I've not had the MF5 yet. Uh, so we'll grab a spirit box and dots. Not going to be able to set up dots nicely, but we will be able to try. real bad there for a second. You still here? Mm, I'm not getting cold breath anymore. At the very least, Ghosty is roaming mildly. Roamed right back to its main location. Throwing some stuff. I don't know that it's throwing. I don't think it's throwing frequently nor hard enough for uh, everything else. Yeah, let's bring them over this way. Any ultraviolet? None. Not a drop. Absolutely zero ultraviolet. Okay. No ultraviolet, uh, probably no ghost orbs, I think that's what we're going for. We have about 20 or so seconds before it hunts again, and even then it's not that dangerous. Definitely seems to have come back here. Is it actually in one of these tents? Because I'm not noticing my cold breath anymore. What's up, ghosty? You are in this general outside area. All right. Yeah, it's, we're not going to be able to get that ghost based on the speed. Wouldn't be a bad idea to try to smudge it. I do feel like it's considerably slower than the last time. So I am leaning towards twins again. Through a lot there. I guess it could be a poltergeist. What do I have? I still have a spirit box. So what do I need? Uh, let's stop it hunting for a quick second and let's also grab EMF. And we should start taking some of the stuff over there, such as our writing book. It is just this general area. Let's turn that on, chuck it over there. Negative on ghost orbs. Let's verify. Ooh, that was quick. I definitely did not get that timer in time, but we'll be able to see here. Oh, he's over there. Okay. 
Can't really use that to verify if it was a demon or not, unfortunately. Did not drop our spirit box. That is a lot of activity. We have nothing for evidence. No ultraviolet, no... Oh, couldn't be a demon anyway. Um... Twins are kind of my go-to right now. Roy should be... And Diogen should be a bit faster with this. Not a wraith because it's step in salt. I could try to smudge it to see if it is a spirit. It's not a shade because it basically hunted right on top of me. Um, I think that the smudge is the way to go right now. And we will try for spirit box after the hunt. Depending on when that is. Are you here? Are you Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? You are in this tent. Are you here? Are you close? On top of me, goddamn. Alright, we got our smudge timer ready to go. Just walk slowly and one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, that was a bit early, I guess. There we go. Grab another crucifix, put it down, because that made it hunt almost instantly. Do I have anything else? I'll just grab this writing book and get it in there. We got our timer going. We definitely did get a smudge in on it, so that is good. We do need to pinpoint that location. Out here, in here. Definitely in here. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Still in here? No, it's moved again. Not like it's in here. We're in here now. Okay. Nice try, dude. I think that's supposed to be five. Yeah, you still got a while, bro. You calm down. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? That was 130, so definitely not a spirit. Which is about 140. Cancel that now. Um, more stuff we should be taking over there, I guess, is this. See, it seems slower again. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Taken away. Spirit box. Five and spirit box is... It's twins. Okay, that works. Figured out the ghost. Hallelujah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't have a smudge stick. Whoops. <laughs> well, apparently this is going to be a very easy challenge. And then that's going to be EMF5 confirmed. Let's bring up the point to 20. Oh, I'll change it. All right, screw that. Um, so what would the other one need to have been? Freezing? Yeah, it just hasn't been in there long enough. It definitely wasn't Wraith, and based on that, uh, test hunt, it was not going to be a spirit, because I hunted within three minutes. So, it definitely has to be the twins. Hell yeah! Survey says it was the twins. So this one's going to be fairly straightforward, as so long as you know what you're doing. But, even if you don't, because of the ghost speed, you should be able to avoid death quite easily. 
Should. Should. What, what's that disclaimer everybody uses? Uh, I am not a trained professional. Do not do what I do. Oh, there's cruise possessions? Or is that guy just bullshitting? Let's find out. Does it have to be raining every time? Is, is that what it's set to or something? That's kind of getting annoying. It's time to go to storms. I'd love this to actually work one day. It, it might not actually work this way, but I'm pretty sure as soon as you enter the location, everything that can be evidence is available to the ghost to offer. Ghost orbs usually spawn in pretty quick. That kind of stuff. Um, I guess thermo, flashlight, and video. And let's go find ourselves a ghost. Should be a little bit more careful about some of the speedier ghosts. Picnic tables or tents? Picnic tables works for me. That was a far throw. This might be a pulte. Jesus, right in front of me. This is not a pulte. Maybe. Let's get him around here and we'll really be able to see some stuff. Some of those throws are hard. Some of it is trying to touch the same item multiple times. Mm, I don't think this is a poltergeist. Just walking here, by the way. This is pretty terrible for the ghost. Oh, it's something been off in the distance. Wasn't quite sure what the hell that was. Alright, so let's check that over there. Got about 20 or so second. You dick. This is a pretty good uh, setup location for the ghost because if it's a year eight, it'll touch these gates. Alrighty, what else do we need? Let's check here one last time for ghost orbs. We have none. Ah, uh, it's worth a shot. All right, um, let's go ahead and get dots set up, get our books set up, and put our EMF up in here. It'd be really cool if you could get dots from outside of the map. You might be able to. I have no authority on that. I do highly doubt it. That was the wrong button. There we go. We actually don't know. The ghost is still there. We're not going to do anything permanent. Uh, we will go in here and start setting up the salt, except I want to have a glow stick on me, because if it hunts, I need to be able to see pretty quick if it is going to be a ultraviolet ghost or not. See if we can see anything. Has massively changed locations. Okay, that's a bit weird. Let's go ahead and ignite that and toss it on there. It's fairly slow, so if it, it does have footprints, that's one way to get UV for evidence. Suck my dick, ghost. Oh, I ran out of breath. You seem a bit faster this time, don't you? I'll give you a line of sight for just a little bit too long. Alrighty, we got our first evidence, which is ultraviolet. So far, no ghost orbs, but it might have moved, so we will hold off marking those off right now. Um, not a Hantu. I should have seen Cold Breath if it was. It does not appear to be an Obake, but we will hold off on marking that off as well. Uh, it's definitely no Phantom. Um... We could try to turn on the breaker and see if it's a bit quicker with uh, far away and line of sight. It has moved around, so it's no Gorio. That might be all we can really do. No, uh, that was not 20 seconds. That's not EMF 5. Um, let's grab our spirit box. Uh, would not hurt to have a smudge stick, but honestly, we don't need it. So we'll just grab some other smaller things and hop on back in. Instant whisper. Myling is an option. Another whisper. I'll have to pay a lot more attention to, uh, 
when it initiates a hunt again. I do believe it has changed its ghost room to the room we're in now, but it was after it hunted. I don't really know what we're checking for. I don't know where the cursed items are on this map, really. I don't even know if we get any. And smudge it so it can hunt pretty quick. I think the monkey paw is usually here. The mirror is usually over there. Maybe the Ouija board. That's about it. This be our hunting indicator here. Also using the parabolic to drown out the sound of the rain because it's annoying as hell. That is fairly quiet. I think we got ourselves a myelin. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to expect to get from that. Ah, uh, what else is myelin? Ghost writing would be myelin and EMF5. Well, the book is over here. It has not written in it yet. Can I use this and run into you? No, we have a five over here. You were over here for a split second. Oh, hunting again? <sighs> Nothing from that. That's dumb. I don't think. Oh, here we go. Yeah, even when he's over there, I can. I mean, it's hard to tell with the generator, but you could hardly hear his footsteps on the other side of the campfire. He's moving around quite frequently, but he's not, like, following me. I mean, like, ghost room-wise. Hunts are pretty, free, uh, quick, too. There we go. I think I'm gonna call this one a mile if you think it sums it up, put it in the comments so you can tell me I'm wrong here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I did not count that out right. It was in fact a myling. That works for me. Let's do this one more time. He's easier, I mean, easier for me anyway. I, I think I'll always try to hammer out three of them. I mean, normally I do this, but... With like the 13 times rewards, so in one game, especially a perfect game, you get almost 6,000 points in dollars. But, uh, let's go in somewhere with this. This one doing five really quick ones that actually give you some evidence. Uh, it's kind of worth it, honestly. So, thermo, um, book, and video cam again, I guess. Well, I guess it's always raining. There's no options there. No matter what you do, it's going to be raining. Should make it really hard to see ghost orbs if I ever had any. So far, that is a luxury or something I don't have to worry worry about. I guess ghost orbs would be nice, though. Guaranteed evidence right off the bat. I think one ghost I do have to be kind of careful for about here is the revenant. Revenant, maybe Thay, and maybe Maroy. They'll have a... Right from here, okay. Is it this tent, or is it this tent? The ghost orb just came from here. I'm not ghost orb. Airball. 
bathrooms. Kind of. Hey, you think you can write in that while you're hunting? I'd appreciate it. I don't even know if you're allowed to, but that'd be cool. Let's let you keep going because you're stacking up to be a faulty. There's just nothing within reach of you, but everything you're throwing, you're throwing her pretty hard. All right, well, that was interesting. Um, to the bathrooms or this tent. You came from this tent, so I'm going to put the book here. Getting cold breath there as well. I don't know why I felt the need to drop the thermometer. Let's go ahead and bring this in here. You're still in here, thankfully. We're definitely still- Oh, there's a ghost orb, too. Nice. That was a bit quick. I found oh, no, that was 25 seconds, I guess. It goes by decently quick when you're standing or doing nothing. I don't think you're a gin. Oh god, game freezing. Hopefully it doesn't come across bad on the recording side of things. So, so far, all right off the bat, we have ghost orbs. Play around with that guy a bit more. Ghost orbs. Not a pulte, but it is throwing hard, which is interesting. I don't think that's definitely not a Thay or Revenant. It should be a lot quicker than that. I don't know what they have to speed set to, but damn. And again, I have not... Uh, Smudged it so we can hunt in 25 seconds. Then maybe I should stay over here and wait before I try to go and trap the ghost. I should do that. I really. Oh, wait, I could just do this again. I'm not gonna just wait for it. Chuck this thing down and be golden. Oh, there you are, Jesus. No UV. This might not be good. Okay. Relatively quick hunts, though. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, one of these times I should try to set a timer for that, but, um, let's see, let's do that. I'm not going to be able to see the ghost orbs there. We might be able to see them dip down here on occasion, but this is where the tripod did come in handy. Oh, there's ghost orbs. Okay, so he's still there. Let's grab this, and I guess we'll put one of these on a tripod and bring it in. Right, I forgot I need to actually hold that. Let's run this over there, drop down that crucifix. Maybe they'll give us some time and go from there. There we go. Walks in front of that thing at all, it's going to catch him. I don't have anything else for you dude, so you just sit there and do your little song and dance. This is the last one for tonight, so let's make it count. I really don't have any uh, good guesses as to what it might be, which is a bit unfortunate. It's been in the same spot, but Gorio is not an option. It's definitely not a haunt too, because we saw it hunting before all of this bullshit. Um... We should be able to see rather easily if it does any dots for us. It's been decently active. Highly doubt this is a Thay to any capacity. Has yet to write in the book as well. Give me anything, nothing close to EMF 5. Hmm. I don't see the ghost to Oh. Is that a dots? Or did it throw something? 
we have a better camera for this. Ghost orbs are still in there. Ghost orbs are actively still in there. Nice. Try to go in there and there's nothing that it could be for us to try to do a smudge timer. Could try to turn on a light and test for mare. Oh, did the ghost orbs up? No, it's over there now. I guess there's good potential for this to be mare. Um, except for the fact it doesn't want to write in the book. Banshee is a potential option here, although it feel like it should be moving closer towards me, as well as giving me dots right now. Still has not written in the book. Likes to throw stuff around in there. Don't feel like it's a Raiju, but maybe we can give that a test here. So we'll go in with the Parabolic and, I don't know, Smudge Stick, I guess. The smudge that we can actually sit there and gather some evidence. I have not tried Spirit Box yet. Which I should probably try to do. We'll go in there with Spirit Box first. After it probably hunts. And then uh, we will try Parabolic. And go from there. Oh, it didn't try to turn those off a key. Oh, let's try this. Not freezing. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? That was a Raiju. I probably would have been dead right there. It's a spirit box. So not likely a Raiju. Um, still quite the active ghost. I guess let's try to smudge it here at the end of the so Look how hard it's throwing some of that. You know what? This could be a Maroi, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We've got our timer set. It's ten seconds off. Um, let's grab the Parabolic. Uh, another smudge. Get in there. We'll drop. Wow, well, probably the Parabolic. And start working on, my brain needs to work here, uh, getting some spirit box. I feel like I left that light off. Let's go ahead and turn it back off. Check this real quick. Definitely not an Oni. Ghost orbs are still here. This, this would be a good case for a Gorio. Dots! Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Dots and Spirit Box. Dots, Spirit Box, Yokai. There we go. That one was a little bit more difficult. Alright, um, so far, uh, no cursed possessions. Although it's more likely I just don't know where they are. Um, I only know where a handful of them are. Literally like two. So, now it's turning on light sources to dick. Um... So yeah, no coverage possessions and constantly raining. That seems to be my main takeaway from some of the presets on this. But for the most part, it seems like they just have it set to zero sanity and they have drastically slowed down the ghost speed. Got Yokai selected, let's go. Still get all three evidences and whatnot. It's not terrible. I mean, like I said, you can easily trap yourself in a corner without a smudge stick, you will die. Or if you're used to, like, a couple of the ghosts and then suddenly you have a Raiju or, uh, I don't know, Revenant, Hauntu, Thay, anything that could be stupid quick and take you or catch you off guard. <laughs> you want to be careful about those. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Anything to do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. We've already made some decent progress towards our other weekly tasks and completed two of our four daily tasks. I don't really care about any of them related to cursed possessions, but survive with only the starter items would be fun to do again.
So, we wouldn't be able to get perfect investigation with only the starter items. That's, we need to save those for, like, immediately after we prestige. Because perfect investigations requires getting all objectives and only the starter items means not having things like smudge sticks, crucifixes, sound and motion sensors, anything like that, parabolic microphones. It's starter items is basically the bare minimum plus flashlights, so... Yeah, we'll save those to after we prestige next, which looks like it is coming up. Can we get anything in the shop? I haven't checked that in a little while. Uh, yes I can. I can get the max tier incense. Nice. And here in four levels, I will have been completed everything, and I can get the, the max tier crucifix. Hell to the yeah. Uh... Let's just bump all that up. I guess we'll stick with everything else there. That is awesome. Make sure to disable and re-enable. Done that once before, or I haven't done that once before, and loaded in and didn't have any of my items. And that sucked, because then I had to, you know, load back out, come back in, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.